Hello, welcome to Al Jazari channel. Cast components are essential parts of our daily lives. From cars to machinery, they ensure our modern world keeps moving forward. Take automobiles, for example. Over 100 cast parts, crafted from a variety of materials, are used in every car. Today, we'll explore the production process of a rear axle trailing arm for a Volkswagen van, showcasing how precision, technology, and expertise come together. The journey begins with collaboration between the customer and the foundry. Engineers and technicians design the optimal geometry for the cast part. Every step is meticulously documented, ensuring swift adjustments can be made whenever necessary. Using advanced geometry data, CNC Machining Center creates pattern and core boxes. These tools are essential for high-volume casting, guaranteeing uniformity and precision. The sand cores are produced using the cold box process. Here, specialized machines fill core boxes with sand which is then hardened using a gas catalyst. Digital cameras ensure the cores meet exact specifications before they're stored for use. In the next step, synthetic sand is shaped into molds using a high-speed automated system. Every 20 seconds, a new mold half is prepared. Workers manually insert casting filters and inspect the molds, while automated systems position the sand cores with remarkable accuracy. Here, too, digital surveillance cameras take over the quality function. If they detect a small error, the production process is stopped. Once the cores have been inserted, the upper box is turned 180 degrees and placed precisely over the lower box. The molding system transports the mold boxes, which are now ready for pouring, to the pouring station. Now let's move to the heart of the process, melting and casting. Spheroidal graphite iron, or ductile iron, is created using a precise mix of scrap steel, raw iron, coke, and limestone. In a blast furnace, these materials with precisely calculated quantities are melted at temperatures exceeding 1,400 degrees Celsius. The molten iron is transferred to a treatment converter. Here magnesium is added to transform its structure from cast iron with lamellar graphite to cast iron with spheroidal graphite. This creates ductile iron known for its strength and ductility. Quality control is paramount. At each stage, samples are analyzed in the foundry's lab to ensure the alloy composition and mechanical properties meet strict standards. These samples are processed automatically and then analyzed for their individual alloying elements using spectrographs in a matter of seconds. Once verified, the molten metal is poured into the prepared molds. As the iron cools and solidifies, it takes on the exact shape of the rear axle trailing arm. After cooling, the molds are broken apart and robots handle the labor-intensive work of cleaning and removing excess material from the cast parts. A final blasting process removes any remaining sand or impurities, leaving the cast parts clean and ready for assembly. Now, the trailing arms are coated with corrosion-resistant paint. Then they are machined. After that they are assembled into vehicles, ready to ensure safety and reliability for years to come. The changeover from the rear axle control arm, which was welded together from several individual parts, could be achieved economically using this cast construction. Like many cast components, the rear axle trailing arm works silently behind the scenes, contributing to the safety and efficiency of every journey. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about metal casting processes follow Al Jazari channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again.